Hello, hello, test one, two, three. Okay, yeah, the, mi the mic works. So yeah, I'll just put a, a risk disclaimer for like one minute. I'll be back. All right, what's up, what's up, BitConnect? Um, all right, so um, yeah, it's pretty... I'm going to mute myself. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Uh, this has been a long time, but, uh, you know... It was requested by a lot of you, so I had to, to do it for the people. Um, so let's see. Hi, Neil. Hi, Angry General, Manny, and Josh, and also Cashball, Adrian. Hello, hello. And Abdahi Ali. Hello. Hope you are having a good Saturday morning. And, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make this... Uh, this live stream right now because I think a lot of people are are you know you know they they've woken up and they're ready to go so yeah I'll I'll, uh, I'll stream until um, until no more questions are left if you have questions drop them in the live stream uh, we'll talk about the market right now so yeah there's nothing uh, to really talk about I mean what what is there to to talk about uh, last week we saw this type of pattern um, on the S&P and uh, you know we were looking for a short and it did happen because again the dollar is inverse correlation to the market has has gone up since 2020 mainly because of the fact that when we were in this huge correction on the dollar right it's hard to really um, talk about correlation when this happens right this was a one year, uh, a year long correction in the dollar. So it's very hard to talk about correlation when this happens because it doesn't move that much. So how can you quantify the fact that it's, you know, the, you know, the market is moving faster than the fact that the, then the dollar moves sideways. But ever since these wild swings, obviously you can, you can start to, to put more, more weight on the dollar because it's, it's moving faster. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, this was posted and we were looking for a short back to 3240, uh, 3250, and, and we got that. A move on the dollar to 9450, and guess what? We got that, right? So, again, again, we can talk about patterns, and we'll, we'll talk about patterns, but but uh, the, the thing is that you can't, you have to look at patterns, but on, on many different charts and see, okay, well, where, uh, if I have, if I have this setup, on this chart then this gives me some clues as to where the market would go right and this is how you know I'm, I'm I invite you to, to think of the market is okay if if I if I see a, a bullish pattern on the dollar and the dollar is is an inverse on of the market then I'm pretty sure I have to look for a short on on the S&P okay so what am I looking for okay so let me wait for for a one two three right 
okay and then I can short right right so you, you everyone remembers this right we literally said in chat it's gonna pump up on uh, the Fed it's gonna pump up to 34 34 30 and then it's gonna drop right? and it did that and then you keep you keep on shorting now we'll talk about this and how messy this was but in a essence this was was it and I I don't have the rut uh, pattern but if you remember correctly um, this was posted in chat and you can you can look you can uh, go you go uh, see it I, I don't have it with me but I'm pretty sure I I, I, I talked about this one right uh, not this chart but this one yeah this one so we were looking for a short back to 1420 uh, it 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 uh, it came almost to it and then bounced so okay so let's start with the basics right so what is this about it's it's about the fact that the market moves in patterns and you can see that uh, all, all over here this webinar if you can remember one thing is that patterns is everything I don't care if you trade triangles if you trade circles if you trade points it doesn't matter because we're in 2020 right you can be a point you have to look at things in terms of patterns right so you you see that the market moves in in spikes and then it creates a one two three right so basically this is this is how I'm, I'm inviting you to, to look at the market basically in terms of spikes and then in terms of corrections and if you you look at the market this way this is gonna uh, improve your your pattern recognition skills right um, because this is the way that it moves right so you, you see that we get we get a spike and then we get a one two three we break the low this is the the basic basic pattern which we call the regular flat and then we go back up for another spike right and this this moves th this you can see this in in lower time frames here because of something called fractal theory right so what you can see on on higher time frames you can see them exactly on on in lower time frames it's like a it's like a um how, how do we call this it's like a magnifying glass right so you can see that this is exactly this and you can use this tool in trading view bar patterns and here and if you look look at it in a, on lower time frames you can see that it's the same thing okay so it's it's basically what I'm talking about now now a lot of people that watch my my previous webinars already know this so I don't have to really go back into it but but if you're if you're uh, new maybe understand that the basic patterns are we get a spike we get a one two three right we break the low and then we look for the next spike okay whoops okay and you look for buys here all right so same thing here spike one two three break the low look for buys here right this one we called perfectly this was insane right if you remember correctly we said buy here I, I literally said from 2470 it's going to 26 and above so if you bought here like we did you made, uh, you you were really good um, another one is basically Twitter right so Twitter we even called right here at 24 uh, 24 we said buy now it's it's almost 50 because it's the same thing over and over again Twitter okay spike one two three break the low you buy all right you buy that was posted in chat uh, <clears throat> so yeah it's uh, there's uh, not that much to talk about also SQ same thing right one two three and then you buy right? um, but obviously you didn't come here to for me to tell you this but this was just a basic introduction right and we can go back also to Facebook right so Facebook this was in August 6th it, the quality is pretty bad 2019 but we said here it's going to go down here it's going to go back up here it's going to go down here right when it came back all the way up here we said look for the short and then look for the long right? and then what happened let's see 
look for the short, then look for the long. Okay? It's that simple. Alright? And is there and what 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 indicators do you see here? None. Okay. So yeah. Hope you hope you got this. Um And uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to talk about. Now, why did we look for longs? It's because it's because the dollar reached our target. Now, now the dollar may go up again, but in a way, it's, you know, I, I don't know how to explain this, but <laughs> um, it reached our target, so I'm fine buying here. Now, also, you have to understand something. I don't think we're going to get any of these moves again. I don't think we're going to get any of these moves again. I think we're done with, with these moves. So this is my personal bias. Right? So I do have a bias. I think this move was just to mimic the June move. because, And then we can we can go back up. And, and at least to the highs. Right? So I see there is a, a little bit of personal bias. And again, I have to say this: trading this right here was really hard. Okay, if you if you attempted to, to long this, it was really hard, because I could literally say, okay, well, well, the rut was still a short, but yeah, but but this this was looking like a long, so it's it's hard to really time the lows, but but the the move up, uh, we were still confident that the move up was going to happen. And I see a lot of a lot of uh, posts on TradingView like, oh, you have to trade the trend. But if you try to trade the trend here, you're getting absolutely demolished, right? It, trading the trend doesn't work in in this environment. So what do you do? Well, you have to look at different um, different indicators, okay? And also, let's let's talk about the yen. So the w the way we look at uh, at the yen. Also, it's it's like the way we look at the dollar. It gives us a clue as to where the market would go because it's it has a, a very good inverse correlation to the market. Okay. Now, um, euro yen is very nice because this thing was in a big big two two year correction. Now it's looking to go back up. So we're looking for longs on euro yen. And as you can see, this pattern is uh, is another one that I didn't talk about. Sorry, I I got. Uh, I I wasn't concentrated, but but you can see that this this is a, another another pattern which which is called a running flat, right? So it's a one two three, and then you don't break the low of the first wave, you don't break the slow, but you break the high on the second move. Okay, so you can see that we broke the high of the first leg to the downside, and then you you look for a long. Okay. So it's it it's doing the same thing here. So basically up, and then you go down one, up another. You break this high. You look for a, a move down. Doesn't have to break this low, and then this is ready to go. All right. So here I looked at the euro yen. This is this is ready. Now obviously it, it doesn't have to just do with the euro yen. New Zealand yen, nice sideways. It's getting bought, so it could go back up. Right, Aussie yen, same thing. Okay, very same same pattern. Uh, pound yen, same same thing. Right. So pound yen possibly could go up uh, very big time. Right, upside. And this has to do, and it came all the way back here. So again, this is the same thing. Right. Same pattern. Down, up, break this high down doesn't have to break this low look for a buy you can see that it was getting bought so obviously you want to go long so all these all these forex pairs because I, I see some people say oh i have to learn forex well you don't have to learn forex you just have to understand that this is this the same patterns can be applied uh to, to this thing and and um to every market and and also like the fact that the yen has inverse correlation with with the Nasdaq more more Nasdaq than SPX, but it's the same thing. Uh, well, not really, but but you know, if Nasdaq goes up, you can 
you can think that that doll, uh, that the SPX would go up. This isn't the case if Dow Jones doesn't go up, which has been the case, but generally speaking, this is the case. Um, so that's it. Uh, so in this way, you know, this gives us, and if if the dollar and the yen uh, says the same thing, then we can have a huge, huge uh, move to the upside. And this is what happened. This is why, even if I was I was like looking to troll. I wasn't I was I was half trolling because just think about it if the dollar and the yen go go up to uh, if the if the yen gets sold and the dollar gets sold then you have a huge bullish cocktail in a sense you, because you have the two two things uh, you know the two inverse indicators basically going going in the opposite uh, going in the opposite direction of the trend and then and then this just creates a huge huge uh bullish like orgy if you want to say or like a huge bull move so we can we can we can look for bias okay because this is gonna rip um so i hope that that was clear uh also oh yeah this one is a, another good one so de was called in the chat here at 128 so one two three break the low and then we're and we said look for bias from 128, we said 160 at least, right? Because that's how we do things. Basically, uh, you know, if you look, <clears throat> 128, right? We break the low. Look for buys here, and then it went. It kept on going down, but then it rocketed back up. Okay. Whoops. And we got we got our target, okay. And uh, John made some money on this move. Shout outs to John. Shout outs to Neil. Shout outs to Josh. Shout outs to everyone in the group. Um. So yeah, I hope that was instructive. And then obviously it went even higher. But this is just you know, this is just like when it came here, it was tough to trade. So I understand if you didn't trade this, but uh, you know, at least we got this piece. So yeah, let's go and talk about the market. So yeah, we're looking for longs. We got a nice move here, and then we called the the long here. Uh, you at uh, rut finished the pattern. If you if you've seen this uh, in the chat, then you know what I'm talking about. We got the move down, so now we're looking for the up. Okay, so upside one two three up. Uh, same thing for Dow Jones. Right, nothing has changed. This is a running flat, so we're looking for buys. Europe, same thing. Right. And Japan, same thing. Right, so there's nothing uh, too difficult here to see. It's just a, it's just a, a very big correction that we had, and now we're looking for buys. Now the only thing, and and this is where I I made a mistake, is that I went for November contracts. But this is a m mistake because if we're if we're saying that volatility is still going to stay elevated, then this move up is going to be fast, right? If VIX is, is going to keep keep itself here in this range from 25 to 30, then this is a mistake to go for November contracts because we're still going to go down. What you can expect is to be in a like in a, in a sort of market that that goes fast to the upside and then fast to the downside. Okay, so the corrections are, are going to be steep. You're going to think, oh, everything is going to fall down, but this is not going to be the case because it's just going to it's just going to drop like 30 points and then go back up 30 points, really fast. So going for November contracts was a mistake. Should have went for October and as soon as we get the spike, just get out and then wait for the for a dump to get back in. It's going to be a lot of overnight up and downs and. Um, and I just think that people that swing like on the weekly basis are going to be rewarded over the people that swing on, on a monthly basis. So, yeah, um, let's just go through these really quickly. So Amazon, nothing to add. This is a, a pretty easy upside. Facebook, same thing. Right? So we said this is the, the thumbnail of the video. Look for a buy. So we get the uh, we get a, a we get a nice downside. You look for bias. Uh, Netflix is a huge long, so 
that's the next thing 24 days come back because it, it's likely to rip on on earnings right so we get uh, we go we get the big sideways we get the spike <clears throat> we get the one two three break the low we look for buys okay Google same thing look for buys Microsoft same thing Nvidia same thing just Nvidia be careful when it comes here because this might be a pattern of its own right so look when you, when it's here you know hedge yourself 535 540 is is a good place to to get out of some longs and keep keep some of them and write some of them because this might be <clears throat> this might do this we never know um apple buy i was saying it in chat that there's nothing to to be afraid of <clears throat> so yeah you get this you look for buys obviously it went down some more but again um, we're not here to be precise about the market you know it's it's still it's still a complex system so it can do whatever it wants we're just here to be close enough right so if if we're saying okay look for buys when it breaks the low here here is is your your trade right because uh, we get here and then we look for buys here it's better that to do this than to do this right okay well I buy I buy Apple because it's a good stock and so let me oh I see that it's going up so I'll, I'll buy here no if you don't have a, a trading strategy this is a very simple one you wait for the for the for the for the sideways and then you get in and if you if you wait for the sideways and it doesn't come yes you miss the trade but 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 then you have to think about about other factors like are you comfortable missing the trade or are you I don't know do you want to be more aggressive these are gonna come but if you're if you're starting out I would highly suggest you to wait for for this pattern to complete and then get in right around here then to get in around here it's it's fine when you have more experience to be aggressive but then you have to understand when to get out and and if it doesn't go you know if it does if it goes against you what are you going to do and and right now it's it's better to wait for a, a potential pullback and if it doesn't come just be happy with the fact that you're you might miss the trade but but it's fine you know we're here to play the long haul all right so so that's it um amd same thing so i saw this right one two three buy amd has a oh amd is interesting so basically we same thing as nvidia so look for the spike here and then here we need to see if it's going to go sideways if it goes sideways here we look for buys because then it could potentially also go down but at least we get a move to 80 and then 80 we can hedge our 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 con on our calls by shorting uh, a call that is to the like a little bit to the upside so then we we convert our call our 100 c from November to a uh, 105 one, uh, 100 105 call spread when it it has gone up so when it has gone up obviously the 105 premiums are going to be uh, more elevated and we're going to be able to to leg into a a very nice uh, call spread uh, which will lower our risk okay so hopefully uh, you understand this Yeah, it's going to be recorded. Okay. Okay, I see that you guys are trolling. Noob here, what do you mean by sideways? Okay, so basically what I mean by sideways is that... Um, what I mean by sideways is that... You, you have... You, the market moves in terms of, of spikes and corrections, right? So the the way to... to to spot them and it's very very tough is <clears throat> is basically like wait how can I say this um, yeah that's a good what I mean by sideways is that we go we go you can think of sideways in terms of of the market not really uh, going in any direction so here after we've spiked right you can expect us to go at least a lot, uh, we can expect us to go in inside inside of a correction okay inside of when we don't move one of the most ex uh, 
one of the best examples is pound CAD, right? So the pound versus Canada, uh, Canadian dollar. So this the this hasn't prog progressed for a bunch of time, right? Two years, two years. Okay, this hasn't moved up, uh, moved up. And then what happens? This is a spike. Right? So hope this. So hope this is a uh, this is good. But the this is a good example. But the 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 how can I say this? The what's the term again? It's a uh, what's sufficient enough for a correction to be called a correction is just when you have a, a one two three right a sideways. So this this is sufficient to be called a, a correction right? This because you get a, you get a nice uh, a sideways and then you spike. This is the sufficient condition. Now this could this could even go further. But this is sufficient enough. When you have this, you're like, okay, I've got what I needed. Now I'm looking for the, the potential upside. Can this still go sideways for more? Yes, of course. But you don't know that. Okay. So this is the ma mathematical term. Sufficiency and yeah. Same thing here. Euro yen. This was a, a big, big, big correction, which now is looking over and we're looking for the, the big upside. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Okay, we did NVIDIA. MU is... is uh, we're not going to do all the charts, so I'm skipping Intel because it's just uh, not really important. But you can see MU, same pattern. So you get the 1, 2, 3. You're looking for the buys. Okay? You're looking for the buys. So all, all semis are looking for buys. Oracle, I'm going to skip. It's boring. Uh, Twitter, I've, sh I've shown the chart, so nothing else to add. This is just a huge long. Um, Avgo, interesting. So I've same same pattern all the time. So you get the one, two, three up. Uh, <clears throat> IQ is a buy always. Again, you can see the the same pattern one, two, three. Look for longs. Huya, same thing. Look for buys. FXI. So what do we see here? Which is the the Chinese market. Right, we see a big one, two, three down, break this low. So <clears throat> now it, it went back up, and now we're looking for this is again a correction. So we get the spike, and then you get the one, two, three, which is a correction. So, which type of correction is this? You break the low. How's this called? I'm, I'm looking at my stream. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll come back uh, probably with the answer, but um, I'm pretty sure Neil will answer this one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, PDD, interesting, is, is, a, is a buy. Baidu, same thing, is a buy. And nothing to add here. We get a, a massive sideways. Okay, and again, uh, you can see... Some, uh, Neil answered your question, but again, the thing is that right now, with all these big moves, Sideways takes in another definition because you can see this. Oh, it dropped from 260 to, to 100. How is this a sideways? But then, if you go back in time to 2008, then then this obviously you can see this as 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 downside or even 2012. Like like this doesn't look like uh you know you know the move that we're having right now doesn't look like sideways when you compare it to this. But this is but. But if we if we go all the way back up here, right? If we go all the way back up here, then this is just gonna look like sideways. You understand what I mean? It's the the, the magnifying glass concept, right? The magnifying glass concept. Baba, so Baba was amazing, uh, right? So we got the downside. I said buy here, and it it went all the way back up. Right, so you can see spike, sideways, spike, sideways, spike, sideways, spike. So we're looking for another spike. Uh, and yeah, so if you remember, Baba called us here and it went all the way up. Made some good money on this one. Billy is a buy. Nice sideways up. Right. 
Bizun, interesting, but I, I would uh, I would avoid this one because it's um, same thing as WB, right? So Weibo, Weibo already spiked back there, right? So it had its big move. So would you rather long this one or like something like Billy, which is new, or JD? Even JD is 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 much better, right? So so yeah, you'd rather long JD than WB. Uh, or PDD even PDD is is better than than WB because WB is just you know like uh, it already made its big move so now there's there's no more juice in it in a in a sense. Neo is interesting but uh, I'm not really sure what it wants to do here. Probably just go, uh, I think Tesla is gonna do the probably the same thing. It's gonna go back back up and it's probably gonna go back down. It's gonna create a huge huge sideways here. Okay. So yeah, look for buys. Same thing on Tesla. Let's do Tesla right now. So look for buys. Gonna go up here. Gonna go back down. Okay, so it's just gonna be in a huge sideways here. Uh, I'm I'm sh I'm 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 thinking. So yeah. Um, let's go back. Let's go through them quickly. So Dow Jones, we already did that. Um, BA BA is interesting. So remember what I talked about fractals. So if, if you see, if you copy this move here, uh, which is why BA is not going to not gonna go down to oblivion. If you copy this move here and you, you paste it here, it's legit the same same move, right? It's just, again, the, the magnifying glass concept, right? So it's, it's legit the same thing. And these these corrections are really uh, aggressive. You can see that the entropy and and we even posted this ch uh, this chart. We we said long here. We were looking for the huge buy here, right? So you see that we were we were wrong for like a week and then or two weeks and then it exploded, right? Because because these these sort of corrections are really really aggressive in nature. They they just explode. Same thing here. So they bleed the contracts until they bleed the contracts until it explodes, right? So look for buys. Um, so that's it. LMT is nice because it has this nice pattern here. I was looking at it, so it's a it's a long to at least 420 uh, retest this high, and then we're gonna see. Um, knock. I'm gonna skip. Nothing interesting here. DE skip. IBM, nothing to really say. It's not a really good, a good buy. Wait for ER if it drops by, but um, doesn't look interesting. Comcast, GE, nothing interesting there. KO as well. I didn't see any p good patterns there. Dow, it's it's interesting, but uh, I would much rather go for BA. AAL, very nice. So you guys, I, I saw some of you guys waited for this to buy. Uh, good discipline. Obviously, this is, uh, again, another showcase that you guys are learning so you waited for the drop then bought there's nothing else to say i mean you guys are you guys are, are doing great so yeah um nothing to see here j and j yeah i don't know i don't i didn't see any patterns there uh triple m i think neil probably would ask about this but i don't see anything uh too too uh too obvious on this chart i mean it's just gonna grind i guess but in terms of buying here if everything goes up i, I would i would imagine triple m is is going to go up but uh you know it's it's hard to really uh, see anything here um hd let's do hd so yeah hd is a is a bit is really good too i mean it's it's gonna go up back up then probably back down maybe i don't know and then it's it's just gonna stay in a, a, a sideways for some time before the next move up okay so that's it uh let's go back yeah i mean healthcare same thing it had the nice one two three so we're looking for buys oh merc merc was a good one to showcase again so you get the spike you get the correction one two three here buy okay now, if you lost money on this, this is understandable because because if it doesn't spike that fast, you you lose your contracts based on on uh, on theta. But this is just another showcase where you know the chart the the forecast was right. 
Now, whether the play the play worked or not is something else, right? Uh, obviously, obviously, forecasting is is much easier than trading itself, right? So we're just here to give give an outlook, but the the play is always always tough because you have to make difficult decisions, right? You're down like 6k on yes, you're like, okay, well, what am I doing? Because you know I, I don't want to lose more, but obviously you know that you have a good conviction that it's going to go back up so it's it's always always tough now again same thing here it's a nice buy let's go to palm w because same thing that i i posted so you know this was easy i posted it in chat nice buy okay so you get a one two three sideways up so it's going to at least 255 260 i would imagine uh and yeah look for a buy um yeah i mean xrt same thing nice nice sideways up i'm gonna skip a lot of them lulu uh yeah i mean uh, all these uh all these retailers here that create clothes i think the best one is probably goose um very nice it went down a lot so it's i don't know why but you know it, it had all this hype and it came all the way back down it's looking uh decent on a pullback you know, it's looking decent on a pullback, so wait for wait for some sideways and then buy. Banks are tough, uh, but I don't really understand. It would have been easier if if banks were were all the way here, because for sure at 22 it's a buy. Now at 20 23 it's a bit difficult, because uh because it could always drop back down to create this this uh this sideways. So I I would say wait. So, yeah, so all the banks could potentially drop one more and then go back up again. You see the you see the pattern on BAC pretty easily, right? One, two, three. Look for bias when it breaks the low. Right, so this is every everywhere. TD that I called in chat, right? So oh, this is a good example. So you see that it 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 went down, broke the low here, and then. You can think, okay, well, Dragos, based on your wave theory or whatever you want to call it, uh, this should go up and break this high, right? Because now, after the spike, we get a one, two, three correction. We're looking for the another spike that's going to break this high, right? But it doesn't. What happens? It goes all the way back down. But remember, you you bought here, so at so worst case scenario, you should just break even. If it comes all the way back here, goes sideways, like oh, okay, well. It doesn't it's not going in my way so I'm just gonna get out right it comes all the way back down again you buy again and this one goes okay so this is just a, an example of 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 how you would you would manage your trade in the sense that you see that it create created the pattern here but here your forecast would be you, you, your forecast would be up to 47 from 38 goes here comes back down see that it, it got it got rejected so you just you just get out at worst you get a break even or a slight loss but it's fine you're gonna get get it back to 38 and then this one goes right and this one was called in in chat at 38 okay gs same thing i think yes yeah, something similar here so um yeah um shop is another one so i'm long shop this one is gonna this one should go high so look out for this one snapchat as well apps are really hot so I don't see them really going down this is a very nice coiling pattern right ever since it, it IPO this is this could go really higher a lot higher um, so yeah BKNG same thing this is a this is a running flat so you get downside, upside, break the high, come back down, doesn't break the low, and then you go back up. Um, Lyft and Uber are really good too. I mean, they haven't really spiked that much, so there's there's still some uh, some big upside coming. I think I think Uber should go back up pretty soon. Uh, this is a nice sideways. I think it's over. Should 
we should grind higher. So look out for the buzz. Uh, probably. Oh yeah, Adobe was nice. So you can see that this was a <clears throat> a nice play on on earnings. I think Eric called it. So you get you get a spike. You get a one, two, three, break the high, and this is a a bearish uh, a bearish pattern, and then it, it went all the way back down. Okay, so this is another spike, and then it's over, right? So at at minimum you get you get a break of this, right? So this is what we're we're trading. So you break the high here, you complete the pattern, and we're looking for the next spike here, and at 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 least you get 460, and we did. So yeah. Uh, I didn't really trade this one because uh, I, for I, f I just forgot about it. I think I was I was more more into the SPX short, but but this was a good one. Okay, and you can see that earnings earnings play play into it because in on earnings, if you remember, we spiked to, to break the the highs, and then it came all the way back down, setting up for what we call a pump and dump. Uh, er, no, how do we call this? I don't remember how we call this. Probably Neil remembers, but I, I don't remember. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Show REGN. REGN DKNG. REGN. Yeah, REGN is good. Let's see XBI. <clears throat> so XBI, XBI is looking like upside. So uh, you know, if if uh, if the index is looking like upside, RGN is going to go up, right? So this can at least go back up to the highs, and we'll see. But it's it's definitely looking good. Maybe we can get some spreads, right? Some some uh, some 650s, 700s, maybe. Think this, this would be good. Yeah, 650, 700s to at least retest of the highs for probably November, I guess. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's looking really good. DKNG. Yeah, DKNG is looking good too. I mean, nothing to really add here. To add here. Uh, Nice sideways here. One, two, three. It's going back up. It's gonna probably uh, break this one. I think this one reminds me of what Pen did. Yeah, Pen, same thing. So I think that Pen is somewhere around here. I don't remember, but it had a nice, nice pattern. Then it just broke, broke higher. So Pen is also one to keep, keep track of. Like for example, would you rather buy Pen or Win? Well, Pen, Pen just looks better, right? So. In terms of casinos and gaming thingies, uh, pen looks better than win, even if it's it's already r super high compared to where where it was like two months ago. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's the same same argument as saying, oh, you should buy airlines because airlines are cheaper than shop. But then I told my friend to sh to long shop. Why? It's because it's because because we're we're in an environment where where digital marketing is. Or digital marketing and, and creating like websites, uh, making it easier for 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 companies to build websites, it's just like something that that you know is always gonna work for the the next like ten years at least, right? So I think Shopify is just a better investment, but it depends on you, right? Buying a little if you have I I know this doesn't apply to many people in the chat because they have a they have a good amount of money so they can buy. They can buy BA, they can buy uh, AAL, so I'm, I'm not, like, patronizing or, like, con condescending. But I'm just saying, like, if I have one of my friends and he's asking, yo, where should I drop, like, a thousand dollars? I would say, I would rather say shop than, than say, like, AAL, right? So, yeah, pen. Pen is better than win. Um, DKNG, is, DKNG is, is really good. Uh, I think Neil had Neil was long, so that's really good. 
Um, Travis was also long, so that's really good. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Doc U is looking really good too. It's a nice, nice drop. Nice spike. It, it went down, but now it's 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 gonna go back up easily. SQ same thing. Nice sideways. Look for buys. Look for buys. This is gonna keep on going up. Oh yeah, Spotify as well. What am I doing? Spotify is really good as well. Nice sideways. Look for buys. This can go really up. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Netflix. Like I, I was saying, this is a very good pattern. I think they're gonna kill it on ER because it's been a, a long time since we had a Netflix earnings that was really good. So this one should be it, and it can go really high. I think I think Netflix can go to 800 pretty easily. So yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I just I don't see anything on crypto. If I see on something on crypto, I'll let you know. But I don't I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything. I called this this long, but then you know this this is just uh, I don't see anything, dude. <laughs> like yeah. When Ether made this move back to 400, I'm out. You know, like I I don't see why 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 I would be in. Cause why am I saying this? Obviously, like Ether can go back up, but but it's gonna stay in this thing for a while and then go back up, right? So we have time. I don't think this is gonna happen right now. So yeah, I think it's going to be going sideways for a while. Same thing for BTC. It's going to keep on going sideways and then it's going to go up. So we have time. That's the thing. Right now, I, I know I'm, I'm looking for a sideways because this already went up a lot. So just wait for some sideways and then buy. But we'll have time. It's going to probably stay there for like two to three months before it goes back up. All right. Whoops. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, wing. Yeah, wing. Nice drop. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's looking like a good buy. Uh, yeah, same thing as as all the other charts, right? So it goes here. Look. At least 145 and then maybe you can short at 148 152 I would look for a pullback here then repeat it's just gonna be probably trending for some time Z yeah Z is is again uh, this is uh, gonna keep on going up I mean it's just the thing we were talking about right all these these apps and all that stuff they're just really hot right now so i don't see how you know you see information technology you know it's just a buy dude there's nothing much to say about this same thing as as zoom zoom is just it's like the next the by the next bynd um and i was reading a book about the fact that you know right now obviously religions have lost their their power in terms of in terms of controlling people right but right now we're more into this ide ideology thing where ide ideologies like oh veganism or paleo or like uh you know like bynd right all these ideologies they they've taken off so if you if you see that we will like bynd right so bynd was was spiked when when uh spiked when when uh you know it ipo'd when it was there was a craze about this this uh how how is this called again it's it's vegan right yeah it's vegan meat so it, it spiked when there was this this vegan craze which is an, an ideology right so um it you know same thing for 
for for Zillow and all these things. Right now, there's just a, a craze about technology. The these these apps that can do like things easy uh, in an easier way, right? I think the Zillow is is for uh, for houses, and it's really hot right now. So obviously, you wouldn't want to bet against it. Just keep on keep on buying on a pullback. You know. Just just keep on buying on pullback. Um, so yeah. Also uh, W. So W is is same thing as uh, as all the other retailers. They're probably just gonna grind. I think I haven't I didn't do WMT, but I, I didn't see anything special here. Yeah, the W. Wait, yeah, WMT. There there wasn't anything special here. Uh, it's 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 a good buy here, obviously, but many things are are really good. Uh, nice slide. It's gonna keep on on going up. Costco as well. So yeah, just look for buys on that on them. Uh, w, same thing. But then it, it's gonna it's gonna stay in the sideways. So they're gonna grind it, grind it, grind it, and then it's gonna fall back down. Probably on on earnings. Uh, but yeah. Also, there was another stock that I was looking at. Uh, oh yeah, of, of course, Baidu. So Baidu um, is interesting because it, it looks like it's the next stamp, right? You don't want to play this aside from earnings. So if it if it has a nice correction, I think next earning could be really good because you see that on earnings they they have like these these uh, these massive moves sometimes to the upside, to the downside, to the downside here. So you can look for for if it has a nice correction here, you can look for for some calls on earnings, and this could be a very good gamble uh, for earnings. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna be looking at that. Uh, Zillow, yeah, so Zillow's just a buy. W as well, just like SQ is, just like Docu is, just like Snapchat is, just like Spotify is, just like Shopify is. So all these all these technologies that you know. That are deglobalized. De deglobalized technologies are are really really good right now. So after this pullback, you you have to buy them. Yeah, there's nothing else to say. All right. Nice nice pullback. Look for buys. Okay. Um. So yeah. Yeah, cost. I did that. Uh, how do you time the moves? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, uh, this is a this is a bit of a, this is a this is a a tough question because. It depends. It, it it's not even about timing. It's it's what are you playing, right? Because sometimes the contract can go to zero, so that's why sometimes we've we've changed our strategy to like taking more of, more of of butterflies because that's what I did because I know that if I take puts here, I'm just wrecked. If I just go long puts, I'm gonna be wrecked, right? So if I take a butterfly, at least. If it goes back up here, I can still hold because I'm I'm not losing as much as if I took took up a, a single put and it dropped here. And if I'm still in my fly, I'm laughing, I'm laughing because it's gonna it, it I, if I want if I want to get out, then then I have um, then I, I just risk less in uh, than than the put. Obviously, if it drops here, I'm gonna ma I'm gonna make less than if I had taken a taken a taken a put here, right? So in terms of of timing, this is this is much better if I had a single put. But this is why I'm ta I'm trying to 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 use strategies that that uh, that doesn't require me to to time that much, in a sense. And I still go for for calls because right here, right, um, you want to get calls because I, I talked about the dollar and the yen, right? If they they both converge, you get a huge spike. 
So here it makes sense to go for uh, for for short-term contracts, right? Uh, because because if we if we do have all the conditions uh, applying, we're gonna get a huge up move, okay? So so yeah, so it, it depends on what you're looking at. But even if you go even if you go for November contracts, yes, it's not the best in terms of in terms of the 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 market we're in because it's gonna if it goes up it's gonna go up fast right as I talked about the VIX is is uh, the VIX all the the brokers have have increased margins so they're basically saying oh guys there's gonna be a lot of volatility coming election day right so we can expect that if this goes up this is gonna go up fast all right it's gonna go up fast so you want to take short-term contracts. This is why I said November contracts, like I took, probably aren't the best, but you know I I, I took them and I have to deal with them right now, you know. So so yeah, but but if you took something else for upside, it's perfect. Even October, right? October's are fine in here. Okay, yeah, metals. Yeah, I mean metals. Metals are, are decent here, so you you get um, <clears throat> so yeah, so metals dropped a bit, but it, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I'm still in in the. I'm still long. I'm gonna suffer a bit, I think, but it's gonna go back up. Pretty sure. Uh, sorry for that. I think it, it, it can grind back up here, and then uh, we'll see. I think it's it's just gonna stay in a in a big correction, big sideways for some time, similar to BTC. I don't think gold is ready to make any big move uh, down or up. I think it's just gonna stay in this sideways, in this range at least, for quite some time. Right. <clears throat> Same thing for dollar. By the way. At first, I thought maybe we could go to 86 first, but now now that I'm, that I'm looking at it, probably it's just gonna come down and then go back up. It's gonna it's gonna chill here for some time, right? Because volatility will stay high, so I don't see us really, you know, going going too too much into one direction. I think it's just gonna be a volatile sideways. So we can look for S&P to go back up to like 3400s, 3500s, but then maybe it's going to go back down because of elections, right? So let's see. Uh, oil is nothing in true, too interesting. I mean, it's just I don't I don't see the point really of of trading oil. I mean, it's just the most boring thing ever, right? So again, some some sideways. It's going to go here, here, here down and then you buy right but this is gonna be so boring that I don't know I, I don't understand why you would trade this just, it won't move at all uh, metals also XAG so you got the up uh, down up down broke the low is this a good buy spot yes that's what you see nice sideways looking for up Upside. All right. So if there's nothing else, I'll I'll, I'll end the stream. And uh, thanks for coming, in, everyone. Um, and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. More uh Saturday. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. <laughs> I don't know where where I was going with this, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And uh, if you need anything, just ask in the Discord, and I'll I'll uh, I'll come back to you. So yeah, take care, guys.